Namaste. So I am doing yoga for self-confidence today and when you work towards self-confidence we work on our solar plexus chakra which is uh, near to our navel center and it is called Manipura chakra as well. So our willpower, our digestive system and uh, our confidence, our agni, our fire is that all is related with our Manipura chakra. So let's start and just you know roll your shoulders back and we are starting in standing position because initially all the asanas which I'll be doing they'll be standing asanas so yeah drop your shoulders down roll them back and take deep inhalations and exhalations while you are doing this and now join your hands in front of your heart Take a deep inhalation, deep exhalation, deep inhalation, deep exhalation. And now set an intention for your practice. May I be more loving and respectful towards myself and then as a result towards others. Take a deep inhalation, deep exhalation and now we will chant OM three times. Take a deep inhalation, OM, OM. Take a deep inhalation. As you exhale, slowly pull your head down and gently open your eyes. So we will start with Tadasana. Take your hands up, interlock your fingers and as you inhale, come on your toes, take your heels up and as you exhale, come back down. So try to look in the front, look straight, don't look down. All right, let's do this. One. Exhale, two, exhale, three, exhale, four, exhale, five, exhale, six, exhale, seven, exhale, Eight, exhale, nine, exhale, ten, exhale. Relax yourself, shake your arms and now we will do Bandh Hast Uttan Asana. So open your legs a little bit and then bring your hands to center. As you inhale, cross your arms up and as you exhale, Bring them back to center. Let's start. One. Exhale. Look straight. Two. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Five. Exhale. Six. Exhale, seven, exhale, eight, exhale, nine, exhale, ten, exhale. Relax, release your arms, shake your arms and now I am doing Pashtim Bad Hast Asana. So you have to hold your arms like this, try to hold your elbows and stand straight. Take five deep breaths here. Look straight. 
relax yourself, calm yourself and feel confident with your every inhalation and exhalation. Love yourself more with every breath. Be more accepting of yourself. And now relax. Now come to cat cow pose Marjari Asan. So yeah, as you inhale, lift your head up, make arc in your back, and as you exhale, bring your spine up and take your head down. So let's start. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale and hold. Exhale and hold. And now we will do Vyagrasana. So take your bent right leg up. As you inhale, your leg will go up, and as you exhale, try to touch your knee to forehead. One. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Three, exhale, four, exhale, five and hold, exhale and hold and then rest your right leg down. Now, as you inhale, lift your bent left leg up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale and rest. Now from here come to boat pose. So lift your legs up and lift your hands. Try to maintain balance. Take a few breaths here. Rest. Relax, sit straight and once again lift your legs, come on your hips, make balance. Rest and one last time we will do Nokasana. Once again straighten your legs and come into boat pose. relax now stand up on your mat and go to mountain pose <clears throat> yeah and now walk between your hands and then full forward fold take your arms up Hastuttanasana. take your arms down Full forward fold, look front, straighten your spine, half forward fold and then walk your legs back, come to Chaturanga Dandasana and then lift your 
spine up come to upward dog from upward dog go to downward dog then walk between your hands and then go to full forward fold take both your arms up come to hastuttanasana bring both your arms down come to full forward fold lift your head up lift your straighten your spine come to half forward fold and then take both your legs back go to chaturanga dan asana and then lift yourself up come to upward dog and from upward dog go to downward dog adhumukheshwan asana now place your right leg in between your hands and left feet 30 degrees on the mat and then come to virbhadra 2 look at your right hand and take five energizing breaths in this asana feel the confidence self love flowing in your body and then place your hands back on the mat and then go back to chaturanga go back to upward dog and then downward dog now place your left feet in between your hands and then right feet 30 degrees on the mat and then come to virbhadra 2 look at your left hand and feel the flow of energy in your entire body place your hands back on the mat and go back to chaturanga dandasana and then upward dog and then downward dog now place your right feet in between your hands and left feet 30 degrees on the mat take both your arms up come to virbhadra one and take energizing breaths here and then place both the hands on the mat and go back to chaturanga dan asana go to upward dog and then downward dog now place your left feet in between your hands right feet 30 degrees take your arms up come to virbhadra one and take a few deep breaths over here and then place both the hands on the mat go back to chaturanga dandasana and then upward dog and then downward dog and now place your right leg in between your hands and left feet 30 degrees on the mat and then first come to virbhadra 2 and then place your left leg on your left hand on your left leg and go back to reverse warrior come back to virbhadra 2 and then go back to chaturanga dan asana then upward dog and then downward dog Now place your left leg in between your hands and right feet 30 degrees. So just come to Virbhadra 2 and then from Virbhadra 2 come to reverse warrior. Come back to Virbhadra 2 and then place your hands back on the mat and go back to Chaturanga dan Asana and then upward dog and then 
downward dog now from downward dog place your right feet a little behind your right hand and come to virbhadra 3 place your hands back on the mat and go back to chaturanga and then upward dog and then downward dog now place your left feet a little behind your left hand and then come to Vibhadra 3 lift your right leg up and then slowly extend your arms and then ease your hands back on the mat and then rest in child's pose open your knees a little bit and then rest and relax And now sit in a comfortable position. Now we would be doing Ujjayi breathing. So in Ujjayi breathing, you inhale and exhale from your throat. So um, a sound comes like uh, if you have heard a baby snoring or uh, I have felt when I was meditating uh, outside like when the plane goes uh, in the sky you know the sound is very similar to that so let me just make it once so you are inhaling and exhaling from your throat and there is a little bit of constriction in the throat so it is a very slight snoring sound so let's do some ujjayi breathing keep your hands in chinna mudra your index finger and thumb are joined together close your eyes and let's do ujjayi breathing for some time close your eyes Relax yourself. Just try to observe the changes to your body and breath after you have done this pranayam. And now we would do poise mudra. So thumb of both the hands are joined together and index finger of both the hands are joined together and the thumb is facing towards your navel center towards your manipura chakra your solar plexus and we will take a few deep breaths over here and with each and every breath try to feel more confident self-loving just try to accept yourself for who you are the beautiful yourself close your eyes and take a few deep breaths here And there should be no sound of your breath. Just 
try to take calming, relaxing breaths here. Relax yourself, gently open your eyes and now lay down in Shavasana and I like to add Pavan Muktasana to every exercise because this asana really strengthens the spine and so just take a few deep, deep breaths in this asana. And this is also a very good asana for your Manipura Chakra. This is a very nice asana for your digestion. And feel with each and every inhalation that you are strengthening your spine. And now, for a few breaths, just relax yourself in Shavasana. My legs are not touching each other. My hands are not touching my body. Now, stretch yourself up. While you are laying down, stretch yourself in Tadasana. Stretch your hands up and your legs down. And sit in a comfortable position. Now, we will end this practice by chanting Vanu and Three Shanti together. But before that, repeat that intention which you kept for your practice in your mind. Join your hands in front of your heart and think of the intention which you kept for yourself in the beginning of the practice to be more loving and respectful to towards yourself I am I accept myself for who I am Life is all about self-acceptance. Yoga is about self-acceptance. And now we will end this session by chanting one Om Three Shanti together. Take a deep inhalation. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Rub your palms. Place them on your eyes, on your cheeks, on your solar plexus. Gently open your eyes. Thank you so much for watching this video and 
do share it with your friends if you like the video and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching bye bye and have a very good day take care